White Lion of the Guild Pact is totally busted. And as proof of this, results from this weekend's regional championship are in. Utilizing the combo between Guild Pact and Scion, Domain did exceptionally well, outperforming many key decks. But buried in this data is something quite shocking. There's another deck that used Leyland of the Guild Pact, Domain Rhinos with a staggering 63% win rate, playing both Scion and Crashing Cliff Falls. To comprehend just how crazy this win rate is, normal Rhinos decks without Guild Pact only had a 48% win rate. But what if Daddy told you that 63% win rate is Child's Play? Main deck we play rhinos but after game one we take out rhinos and bring in kavu so our opponent will be all proud bringing in their cyborg cards to stop rhinos and then boom we cascade into kavu and then our opponent will realize how motivated they are and trembling in fear our opponent will realize that all the cards they cyborged in do nothing against us but here's the biggest question we have to ask if this fake out is so good why didn't a single deck in the championships have kavu in the cyborg with 1331 players you would think at least one player would try this but the tournament was open deck list this means that when you're paired against your opponent, you get to see every card in the deck, including the cyborg, so trying to fake out your opponent isn't really possible. But of course it gets even better, because after removing rhinos, we don't just cyborg in Kavu, we cyborg in cards to shut off our opponent's deck, and having 8 cascade cards that find us the very best card to stop our opponent, that's pretty good. Like Cursed Totem to shut off Yawgmoth, Meddling Mage to name a card and prevent our opponent from casting it, Graveyard Hate, and Hate against opponent's cascade. That is going kind of fast, so to make sure no one's confused, if Waylon's in our opening hand, it comes out for free, making it so our lands produce every Color, and all of our creatures are all colors. That comes with Scion, because then Scion's abilities apply to all of our creatures, including Scion. It even gives hexproof to all of our creatures. That's pretty good. We play Scion on turn two, and then Cascade on turn three, guaranteed to make two rhinos, and to make sure we're not interrupted, we can tap down our opponent's land, counter their triggers, get rid of their creatures, and counter them on creature spells by pitching something blue, like Guild Pact or Lauren Revealed, which can also dig for land. We also have the new Surveil land, and lastly, in our sideboard, our pack Hammond Hate and Counter Hate. That's the deck. And now it is time to see the deck. Unbeatable. So off we go. Opening hand, one lands from mall. Oh, ho, ho. Play line and Scion will keep. Opponent plays Ravioli, good for them. We'll cycle for a land. And then drop Scion. No, subtlety. That's so racist. So no Scion for us. Second Teddy, but we could really use a land. Attempt play land binding. Binding hits. Oh, they play another. Who land? We'll go for it while they're down to one mana. That worked. And what? They concede? Oh, we never got to play with our two titties. We're gonna see what's around two. Opening hand's just okay. But we'll keep. Ooh, copy nice. Our opponent will be in for a wonderful surprise. Our opponent's feeling pretty safe. Tapping out for Ledger Shredder. But surprise! <laughs> opponent draws out sadness. And with Chandler. The loot with Shredder. Quirks of Negation, nice. Push Heartless Agent. Putting out the Kavu. And jump subtlety. That's suspicious. We'll swing an Exile to Preordain. And what? They unholy heat Heartless Agent? But now they have Delirium. They could have killed Kavu. But I suppose our opponent didn't want to risk it. So on some more. And more digging with Bobbles. And what? Hibernate. Return all green permanents a hand? No, you silly hoe. Force negation. We take three. Oil and binding shredder. Melon outburst. Hobbit number three. We'll swing and shut off delirium. And we'll pray for our opponent. Phone digs. <laughs> Throwing chalice in graveyard. And holy heat one Havu. But recognizing a motorboating when they've seen one. Our opponent concedes. A wonderful start for us. Now it's on the next banking. Opening hands holy fabulous. We'll keep. Our opponent plays a fake land tapped. So we must be a landless sack. We'll play Silent Pass. And now Silent has all. All these wonderful abilities and oh, opponent's ramping. And like minding, okay. Tempting to use it now. I think we can afford to wait one turn. Play Heartless. So they can make four mana here. Uh oh, that's a ritual. Six mana. If they have another ritual, we could be in trouble. Oh, they do. Oh, don't do it. I think we're safe. Opponent filters their hand. Drawing four cards. But our opponent accepts their fate. So game one goes to us. Who knows if we're going to two? Opening hand, we have a guild pact. No time, but it seems okay. We'll keep. Opponent suspends all this womb. We'll suspend footballs and pass. On our ramps. Ew, more land. And on their upkeep, we'll tap down the land. On it passes, and this is a little stinky. They get Lotus Bloom on their turn, but if we hit Meddling Mage. We could name Lotus Bloom, but that seems a little derp deeter. But either way, we'll drop out first on their upkeep. A punch tries to silence us, but we can't play spells this turn. But, on a burst, finding Clip sees Ooh. But with at least five mana, they could pop off here. Fun makes mana, and more mana. Ooh, they have seven mana. Her white sun's twilight? A board white that makes them might, but each might deals in fact. At least we draw Startless. We'll play it. Finding out if it falls. So there's hope after all. One pair of pants later. Enema for eight. And our opponent didn't like the enema. But Twilight was a cool.
cool car feeling the sideboard in. And now our win streak continues. So in the next match, I don't even know what was going on. The opponent played Bogart Ram Gang with haste and weather, as well as Rathered Runestone, which does absolutely nothing against us. But it wins win, and our win streak continues. Opening hand has a good curve running keep. This looks like Yawgmoth. We'll play Sion and Pass. We'll reverse the ramp. Oh, I'm perfect. Okay. We'll push the four. Play Chartless. Making our Rhinos. And what? They blow us? Sure. Up on place Christ. And make an insect. And pass. But the question is, do we go after Christ? Or just swing out of them? They could sack and kill a creature. Oh, we'll lie on outburst in hand. Pumping our board with surprise our opponent. I say we swing out of them. Will they block or just accept the cock? What? They just block with one token? But our agent has trample. Alright, lie on person. Oh. Long as he's going into game two to switch things up. Bringing in this for the time too. Opening hand, a lot of lands. Oh, we do have a go packs. So we're gonna keep. Oh, <laughs> they play chalice. Whatever shall we do? Oh, and Zion. This will be quite the motivating. Play Zion. Oh my, they would save you guild packs. Good thing we still have all five land types. We'll hold up play land mining and pass. Upon passes. Well, we have options. Probably the safest. Or we'll swing. And cause their opponent to defecate. Now that they witness Zion. And realize they mulligan for nothing. No, and they concede. We're about to play our second guild pack. We haven't lost a game yet. But wish us luck in the finals. Opening hand, one lands for Nath and Mole. Yep, I think we can keep this. Wolf Rail. Outburst. And go we'll graveyard that. A shock and breeding pool. And we find the land. What's high on? Oh, Hunt Cycles. So it's loving end. We have a 35% win rate against them. But we'll have to pop off pretty soon. Opponent cycles some more. Ooh, Teddy. That was the best draw ever. We'll push for four. Ooh, they pass. They only have two creatures in graveyard. But I think that's too much of a risk. Back on our turn, another Sion. on. Hunt Cycles. And they go for it. We'll tell you to stop the Cascade. Hunt Cycles. No Cascade for them. We'll clap them down to five. But we are tapped out. So they have another Cascade spell. We just lose here. Ooh, Hunt Cycles. Uh oh, they shock. Darn it. Almost lock it down. But it's not over till the fat lady queefs. Land for us. Play another Sion. And very risky. But play Land Mine Binding. If it hits, we can take out their flyer. No, the counter. They spank us for 16. The race has Swamp Walk, so we can't block. And they play another flyer. Chartless, that's pretty good. But if they block with both their flyers, we'll lose Sion. We'll play Agent. Darn it, another force. They have the perfect hand. Safe to say they have us. Going in game two, so I'm this for all this. I'm gonna ask them to. Opening hand's pretty strong. We're gonna keep. Put that line. We'll surveil. The land will take it. We'll play Uranus. Opponent cycles out of sadness. And cycles some more. But now they can't cascade. The land eggs. And then passes. A second Dranith is tempting. But Outburst seems smarter. Outburst now on our turn. Honey Kabu. So we're gonna play a force negation hand. They couldn't have countered Kabu. We'll take over two. And what shall they do now? Oh dear, in grief. Discarding a card from our hand. But both cards are pretty good. After thinking long and hard, they take Dranith. Oh, and Teddy. We want to discard a draw or exile a card from the graveyard. We could use a second blue card in hand. Oh, rummage. And the magic gods heard our prayers. We'll pass. The opponent fetches. Did we teddy that? I think so. And the opponent realizes that they're clapped. And they concede. Going in game three, the guild packs don't do much against them. So I'll bring it to the speed. So now it's on game three. Opening hand, we have a bit of a problem. We have Dranith. The Missy Rainforest can't really help us there. So we'll have to choose between Dranith and Kavu. Oh, he. We do draw land. So that helps. The opponent cycles. But they don't shock. That's strange. I would feel a lot better if we had a second blue card to pitch the force. But playing Dranith this early seems like it'd be derp de -der. So for now, we'll play Kabu. And we'll pass. On passes. More land. Would they wipe? Just to bring back one street race. We'll exile it just in case. And there's another hard call. Do we hold up Violent Outburst? Force of Negation? Or Dranith? I think we hold these up and pass. On cycles. Come on, just half out. Do it for daddy. Oh. we go for it? I mean, they could have a Violent Outburst of their own. But bring back one end? I think we can take that risk. We'll outburst now. Find Dranith. That's a real lot of for our opponent. Fun cycles. And what? They play an outburst of their own? Shoot, and we can't counter. So two creatures for them. Very troubling. Because they're ends of 5-7. We'll play another Kavu. And another Dranith. But our opponent could start hard casting stuff. The opponent swings. They probably just have more creatures in hand. Feels bad, but we'll take it. One passes. Jeez, another land? It's not good. Swing the filter. Something a land. And we do find Meddling Mage. But there's a good chance they have subtlety here. Play Meddling Mage. Mage hits. And only in subtlety. They do have a food token. What are they doing? Floating for a mana? Do they think they can play healthy here? They bounce Kavu. That does put us in a really bad spot. Of course, a chump here. This feels derp de -der, but use both Tyrannus. We'll fast to surveil. Sion, okay. We'll first replay Kavu. And then Sion. I kind of wish we kept a guild pact to give lifelink. But I never thought we'd be in this position. Not only counter. If they swing us both, we're just dead. Unless we chump, but jeez. They gain for life. They swing. We'll chump and trade. And yep, I think they have us. We can draw three. Never mind. Darn, if Daddy had just played Dranith instead of on Outburst, things may have gone our way. But 
on that turn, they had no creatures in graveyard. I didn't know they were going to cycle two. And reanimate a 5-7. So it was tragic, but still a good record. And I'm sure it could have been 5-0 if daddy had all of his chromosomes. So is this deck busted? If this isn't busted, then I don't know what is. Because all the cyborg cards that stop footfalls do absolutely nothing when we switch strategies. And even if the switching strategy catches on, how will the opponent know if we actually switch? What if we don't switch and just keep footfalls in? Should the opponent not bring a chalice? Or maybe in game two, we do switch. But then in game three, we switch back. And even in paper where your opponent can see you sideboarding, we could just shuffle our whole sideboard into our deck, then pull out 15 cards, and our opponent will have no idea how many cards we sideboarded in. For the past two and a half years since Modern Horizon 2 came out, so many players thought that something from Cascade would get banned. Yet here we are. But with the deck this strong, now might finally be the time to ban something. But let me know what you big boys think. Is the deck as good as it seems? Or did we just get lucky? Many new videos are on the way. And until next time, send me tech.